Squash and straight button, left click plus modifier shift key. So once you select your layer and you hold down shift and left click on this button, this will come with a preset. You can simply make it like this. So now, as you can see, nothing happens. Let's go to the first frame and let's drag it to the right. And now our animation will come from the right to wherever we want the center to be. So now we want to add a squash effect. Simply click on the layer and click on the squash in effect and come somewhere in the timeline and simply add a cool squashing effect. Now your animation will happen, as you can see here, dynamically. Also for the animation out, you go to your out settings and let's make this come, let's basically come right back to where it began. And now we've got this cool in and if we wait, let's trim the composition here, we've got the out. For the out, we can do exact same thing. Let's come to the squash out. Let's come somewhere where the animation is a little bit more visible. And let's drag it right so. And now you can see it will take the dynamics and will come in and out. In and again, this will come out and in. And this will go on. This is how to use the the simple mode for the squash snapper. Also, you can use it with markers, which is something that I like. Let's remove all the presets from here. And now we can add again with the modifier key. We hold down shift and we left click. Let's add two markers, one marker here and one marker here. And again, I will simply expand only the Easy Animator Pro in this case. So let's drag it from, uh, let's go to the wherever we want it to be and let's drag the animation to the right. Now as you can see this will come to the right and then in here let's drag it to the left. Let's drag it right so. And now we've got this kind of animation right here. It's time to add the squashes. If we come somewhere in between the animation we can simply click on the layer, click on the easy squash in and drag this like so and as you can see we've got this cool gel effect same for the out let's simply drag it for the squash out i will drag it like so and now we've got this cool effect and then this cool effect so you can be really creative if you like to use some of these effects and let's now make it uh, for example a little bit more sophisticated, like so. Now we've got this and this. If we loop this out, this part, you will see that we got a cool jello animation with this cool effect. Of course, the squashes are dynamic and you can use them again and again. And you can also adjust them based on the speed and stuff you have on your animation. Now in this case, and here let's I will reset this one and let's add only the bottom one and as you can see we now have only the bottom of course you need to like in this example I've got a really big squash because the speed is not equal so now it's better